My name is Alejandro Cepeda. I'm a senior here at Chico State, majoring in Communication Studies with the option in Public Affairs. I chose Chico because of the sense of community here, welcoming environment. Once I went here to Chico State and really found more than just a college, but a community, I saw that not all colleges are black and white, and Chico State does have communities and resources and organizations that not only help you as a student, but also help you as an individual to grow. But the first club that, or organization that I found here at Chico State was the Chico State Orientation Program. I found that out through one of my friends, Eddie Berto Hernandez. He brought me to the program and kind of showed me what it's about. I got to work with some of the best people I've ever, I've ever worked with. Another program that I'm involved in here at Chico State would be the speech and debate team. When I first joined it, uh, one of my Chico State orientation peers uh, kind of told me that I would be a good fit to it. And so I kind of said, why not? It helped me a lot into how I can transform something that I care about to make it seem that everybody should care about it. And you can win awards with it. Crazy enough, I won my first award at um, Diablo Valley College and I decided to enroll in, in another semester. And when I heard that, we had the opportunity to be part of uh, the International Forensics Association in Japan. I was like, heck yeah, I wanna join this again. I didn't think I was gonna uh, join the Orion, but the editor-in-chief, Molly, uh, who was also part of the speech and debate team, uh, told me that, hey, I should maybe join and maybe I can get something out of it. And I sure have to be an ethical reporter, that it's very good to have a, a morality when you do tell a story and not to be biased. My name is Gianna Chavez LaRocca and I'm currently the AS Commissioner of Sustainability for Chico State. I chose Chico, I think, because of the small town feel. It's a lot different from my home back in the Bay Area. When I was touring the campuses, this one really blew me away, and I just really couldn't see myself anywhere else. I really wanted to get involved in Chico State because I like to stay busy, and I have a lot of different passions. Immediately got involved in club soccer on campus and also Greek life, and then I took on this role to kind of find uh, an organization more in my major realm, and then I also work at the Chico State Rec. Um, so just kind of keeping myself busy and meeting new people is a really big thing for me. In my roles on campus, I really try to impact the students around me by getting their voices heard. For those that are underserved and those who feel unheard on campus, I really try to advocate for them. And I also try to enhance the student organizations because I feel like that's Chico State's best way to keep student retention up as well as just making students feel like they have a place on campus. Two members that stick out to me are Kendra Wright and Russell Shapiro. Um, Kendra is actually in charge of all of the AS government officers and she's been a great help in letting me adjust to this role and a great role model as well. Just getting to know her this year has been really eye-opening. Uh, she's open to talk to her students about anything and just really cares deeply about the Chico State community and I can only help that I could be as great as a leader and a communicator as she is. Now going forward I would tell myself that I should just trust in my abilities and be more confident in myself and just have more faith in what I can do and what I can offer to the world as well. I think Chico State has prepared me for that by just giving great career advice and um, offering me opportunities of leadership that have grown my skills in a lot of ways. Hi everyone, my name is Logan. I'm a fourth year studying agricultural science education here at Chico State. Some of the faculty members that really helped me hone in on my experience here at Chico included Yami Lei from the Cross Cultural Leadership Center. I met Yami Lei at our annual diversity summit, something that is done in October. And she really helped me learn my purpose on living for myself, experiencing college for my own journey rather than for other people and doing it for other folks. Another person who really helped you with my journey is Mariana from the Career Center. She became my mentor, my support system, understanding the struggles of being a first-gen student going to college where our parents and dreams are wanting us to become doctors or nurses, but um, having that faith and believing in me to pursue my degree in agriculture because I'm going to make something bigger out of it. An opportunity that I've been able to be involved in at the College of Agriculture is being an intern at our Organic Vegetable Project. 
me along with a variety of other student workers help Scott in regards of seeding plants, harvesting our veggies for our Thursday stand, and also harvesting veggies for the food pantry. We also do have an aquaponic system where we grow veggies with fishes. We feed the fishes and their, their water is cycled into these plants and it's grown in a greenhouse that we can also harvest and sell at our farm stand. And we also give these veggies to the food pantry as well. And the advice that I would give to a new student coming into Chico State is finding your support system. This is going to really help you in regards to when you reach roadblocks and when you're not believing in yourself that you can go ahead and do this. Being able to have a great support system really helps you be the best versions of yourself. They encourage you to keep trying. Being able to ensure that you're understanding and envisioning you walking at the end of that finish line, crossing on that stage during graduation. Your support system will also encourage you to go ahead and strive for more, things that you didn't even believe in your own self.